Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a new moon in Leo reading for my dearest Geminis. Now Gemini, the new moon in Leo is not until the 4th of August, but we have entered Leo season and I really wanted to see what messages, advice, guidance, and energy was coming towards you in the next couple of weeks. So if you do like these messages, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And also if you're after a private reading, I have those links listed down below in the description box. And finally, many of you will see that my setup is a little bit different. I have relocated down to the Caribbean and I'm just trying to find my rhythm and my flow with readings. So just be patient uh, with me at this time and I truly appreciate your understanding. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice and guidance come through for my dearest Geminis for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Geminis, please. Okay, so we have nourishment coming through. Ooh, okay, beautiful. So a lot of my gems, really paying attention to what nourishes you, mind, body, and soul. Some of you, you are very, very focused on like diet, um, sustainable eating, healthy eating, healthy aging. We see release. Yeah. A lot of you, you're releasing things that are just bad habits. Again, it could also be relationships. It can be, you know, um, you know, activities that you do, smoking, drinking, things like that. It doesn't have to be though. And we see the path. Yeah. Because you're seeing very clearly the path forward. All right. Ooh. And I also see you're seeing all the wonder and possibility of this new version of yourself, Gemini. I am getting for some of you out there, this is really a physical, this has a lot to do with your physical body, but you know, what's going on on the inside is very indicative of what's going on on the outside. And when somebody looks good, it's usually because they have discipline. It's usually because they feel good. Okay, and because they are really paying attention to what they nourish themselves with, not just food and drink, but also the, you know, the music they're listening to, the news that they're watching. Um, I know that we can't always control the information that's flying around and what we're exposed to, but we certainly do have a lot of control as to what energy we allow into our lives. And we have self-reflection, beautiful. So Gemini's, a lot of you, you've been doing some inner work and you're ready to make some serious changes. Um, I do see a new version of my Gemini's emerging here during Leo season, or at least it's the beginning of this path for you. All right, so let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance. Yeah, you're letting go. You're letting go of anything that doesn't nourish you, Gemini, that doesn't work for you any longer. Okay, so let's see. We have the Queen of Swords. That's your energy. Yep, you're being unapologetic about it, too. You know, some of you, it, it may be, and I know I talk, talk to you a lot about this, um, maybe in other signs or maybe even in your own reading, but a lot of you, you're quitting, you're quitting bad habits like drinking. I know I've mentioned this in another sign, but um, I have alcoholics in my family. And one of the big takeaways was when they've quit drinking that they did lose a lot of friends, if not all of them. So it's like when you make really big changes, whatever it is, if it's quitting drinking, whether it's quitting smoking, whether it's, you know what, I'm not gonna be going and spending hundreds of dollars every weekend to go out to the clubs or to do things that I find frivolous or that are no longer helping me build success in my life or move towards my goals. I feel like you're, this queen of swords energy is being very, very unapologetic about it. And I feel like you have no bones about, you know, cutting certain things or behaviors out of your life, but maybe even people in situations that aren't going to support you on this journey. So with this energy of release, we see the King of Wands. You're stepping into your power, Gemini. You're stepping into your power. This is strong Leo energy, and that's allowing you to let go of this previous version of yourself or any unhealthy habits. And the path forward is your wish fulfillment. Look at that, the nine of cups, abundance. There's greater abundance coming to you. There's greater abundance coming to you for making these kind of tough decisions, but it feels like they're very mature decisions, if you will. And it's definitely coming on the heels of a lot of self-reflection, yeah. And I also feel my gems, you've been experiencing disappointment or an energy here of lack. And you're realizing, you know what, that's not who I am. That's not the way my life is gonna look. 
I want to be successful, whether that's in love, whether that's at work, your career, your studies, your physical journey, your spiritual journey, you're done with this. But I do also feel this five of this five of pentacles may have been some fear-based energy that was holding you back. Because if you have a close knit group of friends, if you have a close knit group of family and extended family, and they all support a certain lifestyle that you no longer want to be a part of, or you want to kind of break free from, or you want to shift, it can be difficult. And like I said, with the analogy of the alcoholic, that you may lose some people, but they weren't your ride or die and they weren't really meant to be there anyway, right? They may have just been there for, you know, a season. You know, there's a saying that I was listening to, um, Oh, I can't remember who it is, but people are in people are in your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime, right? And so just bear that in mind. So I do feel there was maybe a little bit of a fear here of being ostracized or alienated here, Gemini. And I know my Geminis in general are very social creatures. Um, but I do think you're being really unapologetic about nourishing yourself with only that with that with that only that I can't speak. <laughs> Bear with me, Geminis. I don't know what's going on. You're only going to nourish yourself with that which feels good. Okay. All right. Let's see. Queen of Swords energy. Why is she here? Yeah, I feel like you've also, you're learning, like you're not, you're not so emotional about it. It's a very head over heart decision. Yep. Emperor energy. I'm not surprised. I'm totally not surprised. Aries energy coming through. This is you bossing up. This is you laying down the law. This is you saying, guess what? This is what I'm doing. And maybe it's not going to be like what you do or what I used to do, but this is what I'm doing because this is what I need. This is what nourishes me, body, mind, and soul. And the four of pentacles, some of you, it's because you want to save up. I did here to buy a home. For others of you, again, it's like you, I feel like you're really reigning in your finances. There's no more like just like needless or endless spending on things that, that don't make you happy. Again, maybe... Um, you know, you're just holding back from certain people and situations because you want to save your energy, your time, your resources, um, your health. Uh, I'm seeing too, like there's so much vitality here with this King of Wands. And I absolutely adore this King of Wands because he's just staring right at you, right? He knows what he wants. He's holding that torch. He doesn't have a really fancy torch, but it's a big one, right? And it's a powerful one and he knows his worth and his value and his shoulders are squared up and he's looking right at you. And this is your energy, Gemini. And I, you know, I'd be actually really afraid of anybody getting in your way during Leo season uh, because you're ready. You're ready to take that leap of faith to release some things that just don't work for you any longer. Yep. Capricorn energy. You're also willing to work hard. Now Capricorn gets a bad rap for being identified with the major arcana of the devil which can be toxic behaviors and patterns. But what I'm seeing here more than anything is this is determination. I mean, the Capricorn is a goat and a goat will not stop at anything. You know, you've seen them up on the side of those cliffs, right? Like it looks like they're not standing on anything to get their tuft of grass. They will go anywhere, right? They will do anything. Nothing is going to stop them. Nothing is going to get in the way. Okay, so you're in this goat energy. Now, you might not be as confident as you're coming off, but I also feel like my Geminis, you do need to lay down the law with certain people and situations around you. But I do feel like on the inside, you're like, you know, you might be having a little oh shit moment. Like, is this really going to happen? Can I really do this? What are the consequences? But I, I feel like that's a very fleeting moment. I also feel like you're letting go of anybody who's like childish or immature around you. So the people that don't really understand what you're trying to accomplish or what you're trying to do, the people that are not going to support you, it's okay to let them go. And I think, I don't think I need to tell you that. I feel like you're just sort of, you know, you, you already know that. With the nine of cups, there's wish fulfillment. There's, um, you know, Jupiter is in your sign, Gemini. So we have Jupiter and Pisces. So it's also going to be a lot of expansion, a lot of growth, a lot of meeting new people, a lot of socializing. So don't be worried. Don't be worried about being on your own, Gemini, because you're certainly not going to be on your own. There's going to be a lot of people that are flocking to you at this time. And it may not be the same people as before, okay? Or maybe it is. Like, not for all of my Geminis, are you cutting people off? Or are you, like, not talking to people anymore? That's not really the message. But you are leaving behind a previous version of yourself so that you can call in more abundance. But what I love about this, excuse me, is, you know, look at all those butterflies coming to her. 
You're going to be calling in a different type of person, a different type of situation. Now, I do have to talk about this path a little bit. It is represented by number eight, and number eights are about abundance. But this path forward is a little bit scary. I mean, that's a rickety ladder. I'm scared of heights. So I know for me, this wouldn't be a necessarily easy journey. And for maybe for many of us, you know, are we going to make it? Is this is this ladder safe and solid? But it's kind of like what's up here in this new reality in this new timeline. Um, and I feel like you're willing to take this risk. I feel like but I do feel like it's a little bit of a rickety ladder to get there. Right. It's a little bit like mm, might be a little bit scary getting out of your comfort zone, releasing releasing what you need to release but it's going to bring in it's going to bring in new energy that's what i'm getting like it's going to be like there's you know this is so weird i'm seeing cell turnover i have no idea what that might mean for you maybe some of you are just starting up <laughs> i don't know i've just started like some sort of retinol or something i don't know but anyway point is that with the nine of cups energy here i feel like there's going to be turnover but it's going to be really positive. It's renewal. It's regeneration. And Geminis, don't worry about being on your own because you're certainly not going to be. All right. You're certainly not going to be. People are going to be flocking to your energy, whether it's romantic partners, it's new friends, old friends, family members. Like this is such a good thing. All right. And we have, yep, energy blocks being removed, making a decision, seeing clearly the path forward. Look at that. The star card, Aquarius energy, the path forward, renewal, healing. You're on the right path. You're going to be the star of the show here. You're going to be getting a lot of attention, Gemini. So for those of you who are single, get ready. You're going to have people throwing themselves at you. Um, look at that. Yep, there it is, the five of wands. And there are going to be some people who are going to be triggered by these major changes. We do have, look at these fives coming through here. Five of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Big changes coming for you, but energy blocks are being removed. And I feel like, you, you know, you're going to move quite swiftly to the bottom of this ladder. And I, you might take a, it might take a moment. You might look back. You might need to take a deep breath, but I'm seeing you climb it. Okay. I'm seeing you step into this new reality. And, I'm, and that's confirmation for me there with the star card. Confirmation for the star card. Absolutely. This is walking your own path. This is about wish fulfillment. This is about dreams coming true. And, you know, it does take us taking some action here, but I certainly see you doing that. So let's see, Geminis, for your highest and greatest good, what messages do we have when it comes to career and finances? Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Geminis, please, when it comes to career and finances. All right, renewal. See, I told you I was getting like regeneration, renewal. You need to take time to recharge your energy to get back on track. Challenges ahead require you to have faith and break through. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I always get I always hear Don Quixote by Cervantes with this card. Some of you, if you're if you're into Spanish literature or not, but you've heard of Don Quixote, you know, it is about it's about grounding yourself in reality. And you do need to take time to recharge and rest, nourish yourself appropriately, um, because you're going through a major change, okay? But I also feel like this is bringing renewal, and there is a breakthrough here at hand. Yeah, look at that. Boom. Wealth, Gemini. You're working towards real wealth and prosperity in your life. Keep investing in yourself and look into long-term career planning. And I, I think that's what I was unable to say. This card is saying it very eloquently. Like with this overspending, with this whatever it is that you're releasing, you're, you're no longer thinking just short term. You're investing in yourself, paying attention to how you nourish yourself, the energy that you allow into your, into your life, into your body. And you're looking into more long term rather than instant gratification. And you know, it's, you'd be, it's surprising how many of us, because I'm definitely guilty of it as well, but how many of us are so conditioned to want and need instant gratification. And this is where you're separating yourself here, Gemini. All right, yeah, because you've been frozen and maybe for too long. There may be a hiring freeze or no work now. Being aloof can leave you out in the cold. A warm follow-up gets you in the door. Yeah, but I also feel like there's a strong energy of socialization around you that, um, you know, it does, my Geminis, I know you're not like, for example, like my Scorpios out there, they got a, a message in this series of readings where it was really about, you know, internalizing, isolating, 
um, being in hermit mode. And, I, and for a lot of my Geminis, that's not going to work for you. That's not your ideal. And that's okay. Um, and, and I see that here, but I also see through socialization, there may be opportunities coming towards you, but again, you're naturally attracting people that are going to match your frequency and that's going to bring opportunity. But I, I feel like you've been frozen too long here, Gemini. Okay. And you know it too, you know it too. And it's like, you're moving away from instant gratification and you're building long-term wealth. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Might have taken me a while to get that message out, but you're moving away from instant gratification and you're building long-term wealth. Wealth. I just said wealth. Oh my goodness. Okay. So the Grim Reaper, the relationship is over. No second chances grow and transform your life. Yeah. Some of you, this is seriously ending a connection that wasn't good enough, that wasn't nourishing you. It may be with somebody who was a bit of a player or somebody that maybe they loved you, but maybe they were lazy. You know, maybe they, you know, they loved you very much, but they were lazy with you or they didn't share the same goals that you have for the future. So I do see that you're putting up strong boundaries. And I also feel you do need to put up strong boundaries with anybody from the past trying to come in here because I'm seeing my gems solely looking at the future, solely looking at the future. I mean, I see the only way my gems would consider somebody from the past. Those of you who are resonating with this reading is if this person has done a complete 180 transformation, if they were not in the same energy. And, and that could be the case for some of you, okay? But it does look like, too, when it comes to love and love and career, love and work or finances, it's all Venusian energy. They're very closely linked, not always. You know, we can be successful in love and, and have shit careers or we can, you know, we can be successful in our career and have, you know, terrible love life. But what I'm seeing here is there's definitely been some situation here when it comes to love and romance that has been holding you back. And, and, and for a lot of you, you might be, you might be making that decision to let go of that once and for all so that you can, you know, have the life that you want, or at least give yourself that fight and chance. All right. So let's see. And again, not all of my Gemini's am I saying, you know, for example, cause I can already hear it in the comment section. Not it's not about choosing money over love, right? But a lot of you, it's like, you're sick of the status quo and you're sick of the instant gratification. And you want to build long-term wealth and abundance. And that is something very, it, it, it requires patience. Okay. And it's, it's a power move. It's a power move that a lot of us don't learn until later on in life. All right. So let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Geminis. Clear messages, advice, and guidance from my Geminis. Important mission. Your soul has an important mission to fulfill in this lifetime. Search within and you'll discover your mission. Yes. Yes. This is what you were meant to do, Gemini. Walk this path. Yeah. Beautiful. But it's always a choice. Remember that. It's always a choice. You can choose to be lost in the labyrinth of life or use these trials to harness your inner strength and come out stronger and wiser. Yeah. It's always a choice. And at the bottom of the deck, pain is fuel. Disappointment is fuel. All that pain, all that suffering, all that confusion, use it as fuel and transform your troubles into gold. Oh my goodness. Golden energy is definitely angelic support around you. But for some of you, there's some importance to the color gold. Maybe you like to wear gold jewelry. Maybe some of you have just bought like a beautiful, I'm seeing like a really beautiful gold sequin dress. Okay, but more so than that, turn your troubles into gold. Remember, gold is the symbol of true of wealth, right? It's always the symbol of wealth. All right, I'm going to end this reading, Gemini, here with a mantra for you and an angel number. So clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Geminis. What is their mantra? What is their angel number? What is their mantra? What is their angel number, please? Number 11, I am intuitive. So say it to yourself. I am intuitive. You have been, sorry, you have keen awareness of what is happening around you. A strong intuition is your gift and will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be a great guide and supporter. Beautiful. 
All right, my dear Geminis, I'm going to leave it here. If these messages resonate with you, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Geminis. Take care.